Hey YouTube, it's Vegram 360 here. I got something to show you guys today. Hopefully, you're gonna like it. Okay, so here it is. I bought a 2002 Mustang GT. It is the 4.6 liter V8, two valve, five speed. It has 67,000 miles on it. At the time I made this, it's February. I got it in October. But I haven't driven it much since because the weather here in PA sucks. So, don't mind that. So, what's got that note is uh, BBK intake, BBK throttle body, uh, HR coils, high flow cats. Stock manifold, um, SLP loud mouth exhaust, short thrust shifter, uh, upgrade clutch. What else is that? I put a shorter antenna on it. It's got different wheels, I think. I actually don't know. It's got a rear decal, which I'll show you in a minute, that I put on. And I know it's pretty stock, but it's very loud. And it's, it's a really good time. So, first, let me show you the engine, then you're going to walk around a bit. Okay, so here we got the engine bay. Like I said, it has a BBK cold air intake with a BBK throttle body up top there. Uh, other than that, the only things that it looks to have done is a new uh, idler tensioner down there. It does have a red top battery. It does have the upgraded clutch and upgraded, I think an upgraded clutch cable assembly. Not sure much about that, but I do have the original ones, so. But I'm really that it works, it works just fine. And other than that, everything appears stock. Besides, I mean, it does have the grill delete, and then I panned the logo just to help match a little more. It does have the factory black headlights and the factory fog, plus it has this lip on the bottom, which I think makes it look fantastic. Which I did fix that up a little, it was pretty much falling off. So, uh, that's what's going on under the hood. Now let me show you the rest of the car. These are the wheels I was talking about. Just, I might go black with those wheels because I really do like the wheels, but I don't like the coloring because I'm trying to do some blackout on this. It does have these, and most people don't like them at first, but it does have these really nice airbrushed, like there, there's no stickier, it, it's airbrushed and clear coated flames. I think it's nice because it, look, it makes it look different. You know what I mean? It sets it apart. Now of course I put a shorty eight inch antenna on it. It does have the vent shades. Not sure if I'm going to keep those or not. I usually like those, but on this car, I'm not too sure how I feel about them. And then the back here, I did get the Mustang decal kit for the middle. Uh, I do have the sequential taillights, which I'll show you in a minute. And then here's that black vinyl kit I put on. The only thing I don't really like about this is I did get a little bit of a gap there at the bottom, which I might have to go back through and do something about, because I'm not sure if I like it. And it also has this uh, blacked out LED third brake light. And I may get a rear louver for it and side ones. I'm not entirely sure yet. So that will definitely be to come. And of course there will be some videos for it. And then as you can see down here, these are actual SLP kits. This is the actual SLP loudmouth kit, not some knockoff, just walled on. It's it's legit. So uh, let me show you the inside. Okay. So here we have the inside of the car. It is just the cloth interior. I mean, it's it's in decent shape. It's got it's got a little burn mark here and there, but it's in good shape. It's got the Short throw, I also have a Steeda, it's like a shifter relocation to help move it back to a little bit more comfortable location, which works very well. Uh, just a Kenwood head unit I put in that is Bluetooth. Um, other than that, I mean, it's it's pretty generic. It's, it's a Mustang interior, but it is obviously a five speed. And uh, other than that, like I said, it only has 67,000 miles on it. And uh, yeah, let me get you a rear shot. Other than that, I'll give you guys a startup, and you can hear how loud this puppy really is.
there you have it. This is my new car I got. Um, I really enjoyed it so far. It's definitely a good time. It's pretty close to what I wanted. I mean, obviously, I'd much rather would have got, would have liked to get a 5.0, but that's for down the road. So for now, this is exactly everything it needs to be. And I have had it on the highway. It's very good on the highway. Kind of starts around town with the clutch. But other than that, it's a great car. Absolutely love it. And in case you were wondering, I'm still keeping the truck, which you guys haven't seen any videos of that yet. Those, those are coming, my 2011 Ram. I am going to be selling the Impreza because I just can't afford three cars insurance wise. So I'm actually going to be putting the Impreza up for sale coming in spring. It's currently February 17. Coming about April, May, I'm probably going to be selling that. That's all I got for you today. And if you want to see more regular videos like this, it's anything pretty much, like when I'm working on this or whatever I'm doing, let me know in the comments below. So if you guys could leave a like, if you liked it, um, shoot me some comments, um, subscribe, definitely subscribe. And if you want to get directly in touch with me, you can find me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Snapchat. Thanks. Everyone have a good day.